hi guys welcome back to my channel um thanks for clicking on the video this is just supposed to be like a really like quick um sit down video but i really thought that it was a good idea for me to record and just talk about this because i feel like this is so helpful and it's definitely something that i wish i had seen when I was really going through it last year. Um, but as you can see from this title, this video is just about, you know, being more fluid and being accepting of change. Um, I would say the biggest thing that I learned from last year was how to just, you know, be more adaptable and just let go of things i feel like a lot of us have grown up in environments or have been told you know from having pressures from family and things like that that things have to be regulated things have to be in a certain order you have to live your life in a certain way and you know if that doesn't happen for you then somehow you've failed and it's just so toxic but obviously at the time when we were being conditioned to think that way you didn't think that it's toxic you just thought it was normal i mean for me i had been told the same thing from my parents you know you're born you go to primary school you go to high school you get a degree you get a job you know you save for your pension you go on holiday once a year and that really should be your life and if you stray from that by any means then you know you're going off the rails you're not going to be successful etc etc and i kind of really internalized that like i really believed in my soul that that was the only way that i was going to be successful and then covid hit and i would say that even before covid hit this transition had already started for me even though i was very reluctant to accept this transition it's like i had gotten to a point in my job where i was like okay everything that i thought that i wanted i had kind of gotten at that point to an extent and you know when you're just like sometimes the fascination is better than the actual reality of having that thing um let me explain like for instance you've idolized going to a school or you've idolized a job for so long and then you finally make it there and you're just like okay this this is it like this is it like what comes after this and i think that's just because like a lot of us have this preconceived notion that our happiness and our joy is you know fixed and cemented in a particular thing or a particular part of our lives so for instance like for me i idolized i was that kid that wanted to be an adult i could not wait to be done with school be done with everything have my bag have my coffee in hand stumping the streets of london or new york or wherever on a way to a high-rise office building somewhere and that's what i had looked forward to for so long and then I finally made it there finally made it there was working in London Bridge wearing my cute dress pants and my heels going to my office and it was amazing but at that point I was just like this doesn't feel as good as they said it was gonna feel and it's because I hadn't allowed myself to really enjoy the process and I had also been so bent on my plan that I actually did not even consider anything else and then when Covid hit so much happened I mean I was one of the people who ended up losing their job um, because I had I was on a fixed term contract which I had been told was going to be um, going to be extended I was going to become a permanent member of staff blah blah so I didn't even think about I didn't even think twice about it and then COVID hit and my company all of a sudden were not allowed to make any new hires and obviously because my contract was done um, I would have been classified as a new hire um, so obviously like no hard feelings to my company by any means you know they could not have known that this was gonna ha happen but it hit me hard and that's when I realized that you actually don't know what life has in store for you and you have to you know prepare as much as you can for the things that you want but also be the type of person that if change does occur you can move accordingly and I, and covid really forced a lot of people to get out of any comfort zone any routine they had and really look at their lives for what it actually was and make adaptations you know as necessary because you did you didn't have a choice the, like the world was literally forcing us to change how we live and how we react to things and how we interact with people and i feel like this shouldn't be a lesson that we just 
you know experiencing COVID and let go of that actually if you learn to apply that type of mentality to your life it can make a significant change so basically what I'm trying to say is being able to be fluid is extremely important being able to accept change is extremely important like I'm at a place in my life now COVID has changed my life entirely I always wanted to get a master's degree and I said I was gonna do it i had been out of year, out of university for a year didn't think that I was gonna do it after a year and here I am and it's the best decision I ever made but that would not have happened if everything in my world had not been shaken up um, but yeah it's, it's just like sometimes you actually don't even know what's best for you you just because you haven't had enough exposure to other options of things that could be a possibility so what i want to say from this video is be open with your plans obviously prepare as much as you can don't just be floating in the air you know what i mean but be open sometimes what you have imagined for yourself is not the best possible outcome sometimes there's other things that are out there for you and if you are willing to deviate from your plan or make some adaptations just you know review where you want to go and give yourself as much of a scope of information and insight to other things as possible it can really enrich your experience um in you know in your career and any other things else that you're doing but um yeah i just want to say be fluid, be acceptable of change. Don't allow the fact that you have such a permanent like list, such a regulated list of things they want to achieve in your life, stop you from getting additional blessings just because your head's down looking at exactly what you want. And at the same time too, if you plan something out and you don't get what you want, you have not failed. This is also something that I had to learn because this spirit of failure is literally crippling so many people and it crippled me as well. That the second that you don't achieve something that you had on your list or you do achieve it and somehow, some way it gets taken away from you or cut short, etc., you want to feel like you failed. You haven't failed. At the end of the day, True failure is losing something or not achieving something and remaining stagnant and dwelling on it. Like if you got an experience to do something and at the end of the day it didn't turn out being what you wanted or you got cut short, look you had the experience and if you didn't get to have the experience in the first place, another one, a better one will replace it. So optimism is extremely important and again that's also something that if you're able to harness being adaptable and being accepting of change, when failure creeps up you won't think of it as failure because you'll be like okay this didn't work i can do this that is not going to work out i can change how i'm going to handle this like do you know what i mean so I, I feel like a lot of people need to hear this especially because i'm 25 and when i was 18 i thought i would have my life all the way together by now and i have a lot of things together i'm not going to downplay the stuff that i've achieved i've achieved a lot of things that i had on my list but at, at the same time there's other things that i want to do that I didn't think I'd want to do two years ago and that's just because I've allowed myself to be accepting of change and to be open enough to you know want to do other things and maybe move from what I had initially on my list and try something different and it's the best thing that I could have done for myself like I am so happy now this is why I'm coming to you like completely busted I have like an allergic reaction on my forehead the nine but that's also part of it because I just accepted that this is me this is my life I can only control so much like another thing that i also learned learn to detach and this is also extremely helpful skill especially when you're dealing with quote-unquote failure when you're holding on to your supposed misfortune think of it like this when you're holding on to it your hands are like closed right so you are not giving yourself the ability to open up to accept something new and it's the same thing with like learning how to detach if you are so bent on the things that have not gone well or you're so bent on having your way and you're not willing to detach from those thoughts and those you know wants and desires you are not giving yourself the room the mental room emotional room etc to be able to change and to accept new things and so what all this comes down to is if things don't go the way you want in a certain circumstance don't give up don't let that cripple you don't let the fact that certain things have not gone in chronological order the way you planned out be a reason why you tell yourself that you're a failure but instead be adaptable to change the most you know 
I guess in my eyes successful people and progressive people are the people that understand that is progress over perfection and they also know how to move with the tide you have to learn especially as an adult because anything can be thrown your way how to make the most out of any situation and if you harness that and you truly become fluid and adaptable to change and it's accepting of change you're gonna unlock a whole different realm of yourself and a whole different realm of things that you can have in your life that you probably didn't think were possible prior. So really, really, if there's anything that you get from this video, learn to just take it as it comes and do the best you can to turn whatever the situation that's being thrown to you into the most positive, amazing, you know, outcome that it can possibly be. And at the end of the day, you can only control so much for what you can't control detach let it go let it go it will give you so much peace of mind when you open your hands and let go of the things that you know deep down in your heart that you cannot control i used to run myself mad overthink and i feel like that that's what has really helped me cope with my anxiety because before i used to think that everything was controllable and therefore when things didn't go the way that i wanted them to go i would blame myself and overthink and overanalyze and i would be up in the middle of the night creating scenarios in my head and making myself you know so upset or really worked up it was things that had not even happened yet why because in my head i truly believed that everything was controllable and the second that clicked for me the second that you know never did not become a thing that i adhered to anymore i felt so much calmer so much more peace just so much more tranquility in my soul knowing that obviously you can control certain things like don't be lazy like if there's things that you can prepare for that you know that you can prepare for to have the best you know shot at something or to have the most success sex, blah, 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 to have the most success at something then 100% do those things work on yourself make those investments but for what you can't control let it go do not run yourself mad about it let it go and the universe you know whatever you believe in the higher power or whatever will sort itself out will sort itself out and what is meant to be for you will gravitate towards you and you'll be able to handle it because you're prepared and you have the capacity in your mind mentally and emotionally to be able to move forward with that thing so yeah that's all i have for you guys today Trixie's been watching me. Um, that's all I have for you guys today, but I hope you really enjoyed it. I want to do more of these types of videos just because this is the stuff that I enjoy the most watching on YouTube. And I just want to, any of the advice that I have, anything that I've learned, I'd love to share. Um, and so yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.